Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering Action Comics 168, The Menace of Planet Z. A irrelevant story that has its high points, but is hampered by the sort of horrifying implications about how this planet works. So if you can ignore that, you can really enjoy the story. Somewhat. I think it, it has its moments. It's forgettable. One of the things I say a lot because these are disposable stories and there are stronger disposable stories. Honestly, these are one of the stories that I don't remember until I pick it up. I'm like, oh yeah, that kind of happened. It's a very simple story. Superman is taken by a different planet, the planet Z, using some sort of ray. It's, it's similar to the premise of Adam Strange, if you know that DC character, who's more of like a John Carter type. So not exactly the same thing. They need Superman to help because on their planet, they have nothing but plastic. So they have plastic cities. And because of the lack of metal, they have been stealing gigantic beasts from other planets and using mind control devices to control them to do things, sort of like the Flintstones. So they have like a gigantic bird be their airplanes, which is fun in theory. But once again, implications horrifying because these beasts would have less consent than the dinosaurs on the Flintstones, who seem to be sentient and going along with that unless they've been enslaved. But they're allowed to keep their sense of self. These beasts are not. The problem is these beasts have started to run amok, and Superman has to solve why this is happening. Seeing that there's only like three characters, it's going to turn out to be one of the other guys on the council is screwing over the other one so he can be the one to be the controller of the beast. I feel like this could be solved by having multiple people be the controller of the beast. Or uh, not enslave beasts and solve other ways of doing this. I mean, if plastic buildings worked in this planet, why wouldn't a plastic airplane? What's interesting is this comic, as partly a joke and as partly a reliance on structure, and I can't believe I'm complaining about structure, is they have Clark get a job with the newspaper and essentially live out his status quo on Earth. He's a reporter again. He has a boss like Perry. He has a woman who's sort of enamored with him and Superman. It's not really dealt with all that much, who also is an LL who works at the paper or news organization, whatever this is. So yes, it's funny that he gets this job, but it also takes away from the actual plot of the story where we don't have room for the actual mystery. And we could have easily done without it. Especially the fact that he has to lose this job really quickly to go back to Earth for some reason. He could have just gone back to Earth. Who cares about this job? You didn't need to live there. Why did he have this? I get it. It's a joke. It's, it's a joke. I get it. But the joke is forgetting the actual story. The B plot is, is, is getting in the way of the A plot. But don't worry, once Superman solves this whole problem by switching out the mind control device, he goes out and gets a bunch of meteors full of metal so the planet has metal and they don't need these creatures. So he does actually build some sort of aircraft and take those creatures home, even though Ray should be able to bring them home. They have a ray that can teleport people, but they have trouble with other machinery. Nope, don't poke holes in the story. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's got its moments. Superman fights some beasts. You, you get to see a big bird be an airplane. And when he returns back to Metropolis, Lois complains about him being missing and how odd that Clark has been missing in the same time. He goes, oh, here we go again. I mean, yeah, here we go again. We're not even going to deal with that plot, but that plot's going to show up over and over again because that's one of Lois's entire motives in the 1950s. What I like about the story is it's fantastical and it's big and it's something for Superman to do. He's off planet. He's dealing with giant monsters. There is another planet. There's some little funny asides. I don't like it because, well, it's getting in the way of itself. And this plot is almost non-existent at times. Like I said, there's only three people in the mystery. And we take away from the mystery by him going to be a reporter that also doesn't have much other than, huh, this guy is interesting. So that's really all I have to say about the story. It's one good High point is Superman does end animal slavery on this planet and gets these creatures back home where they don't have to be a workforce. Okay, that is it from Action Comics 168, The Menace of Planet Z. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday where I cover Batman story neither Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question whoever did happen to the man of tomorrow.
And if they have a way to bring things to them, couldn't they have just brought metal to them or metal machinery from other planets? Okay, have a great day.